What is going on, fellow outlaws? Outlaw Gary here, and oh my goodness. Yesterday, we received a Red Dead Online update, the first update of 2019. And if you guys missed yesterday, don't worry. You literally didn't miss anything. <laughs> the update was so bad that everyone is pissed off that this was the first update of Red Dead Online in 2019. But never fear, brothers and sisters. Outlaw Gary is here, and today we're talking about what future updates Rockstar has announced with yesterday's update, and we're gonna be going into detail with things like law and bounty upgrades, daily challenges, and more. So if you do enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like. Let's go for 3,000 likes on this video, as I greatly appreciate all the support. And without further ado, Let's get into it. So kicking this right off, there are more updates to come. This is just the first of many updates to come in 2019. And unfortunately, starting off the year with this bad note is sort of upsetting, but we got to have some faith, all right? I, I'm trying to remain positive. I'm right there with you. I know the pains that you're going through feeling like Red Dead Online is an empty shell or husk. I know what you're feeling, all right? I'm right there. I play this game every single day for three to six hours a day, so I know how you feel. So uh, today's, so yesterday's update include the Gun Rush game mode. It has a free, free for all um, game mode as well as a team game mode, both of them equally boring. I'm not a huge fan, didn't like it. Um, there's some problems that I ran into playing the game mode, like the game freezes and it's just overall um, not for me, especially for someone that's been playing this game for so long. I want something large. And I would have rather it had a update that didn't include any new game modes, just fixes and bugs, than the gun rush. But we gotta remain positive, right? We gotta, we gotta, we gotta be, we gotta remain positive. So uh, they have some things coming in 2019 that uh, players gave them feedback on that include daily challenges. Now, this is something I'm super excited about. Daily challenges are awesome because they allow you to uh, get things done. Like if you wanna jump into free roam and there's a challenge to kill five cops and you get $10 for it, hey, that's not bad. Do I'll do that all day. Little challenges here and there that really entice a player to come back every day and a way for you to earn additional XP, gold, and money that you can spend in various things in the game. Now, before you're like, Garrett, there's not much you can buy with the money yet, but don't worry, I'll, I'll get into it. This this might be a little bit of a long video. Next up, we got Law and Bounty upgrades. You guys may see the, the thumbnail. Um, the Law and Bounty upgrades are some changes coming to Red Dead Online that include the Law and Bounty systems for the game, which will reduce griefing. So if you are tired of griefers, this is a great way to reduce that problem. Soon, players will get a bounty for committing crimes and will be incentivized to pay them off within a lot of time. If you wait too long and bounty hunters from each of the states will track you, forcing the player to pay up or escape. Now, this is a great way to reduce the griefer problem. The issue that I see here is that this griefer problem turns into a general player problem or someone retaliating against a griefer also running into these problems, thus causing the person that was getting griefed more money for just protecting himself. It's a very, very, it's a scary road to go down, but if you can be a police officer in the upcoming updates and prevent griefers like the anti-griefer squad we have here, that would be cool, but that's not something that's been announced just yet. Next up, they're making changes to the parlay system or parlay system. Um, they're making a easier so that you can trigger so that you can avoid aggressive aggressive players more quickly. In addition, um, it will be easier to trigger feuds, posse feuds, and leader feuds to take on attacking players in a structured competition. So if someone's bothering you and you want to go 1v1 against them, you can now do that with the parley changes. So that's pretty cool. I don't know why I said parley. and I think it's parlay, but I'm sorry for being dumb. They also changed proximity-based player blips that Player location blips will soon appear only over short distances, reducing the range at which you are able to at which you are visible to others. So if someone is uh, pretty close to you or very far, player blips are no longer showing up on the small radar near you. Uh, so it's a little bit harder to grief somebody. And I think it's a great addition. I think that's freaking awesome. They even mentioned down the line, they're looking at ways to make it so that people who just grief and kill for fun have a progressively darker blip on the map so you know to avoid that person because they have a reputation of griefing. I thought that was a 
I think that's such a great idea. Let's do it. It will make life so much easier. It'll be like, hey, see that guy right there? Yeah, we all freaking hate him. <laughs> one big thing I want all my Xbox One viewers to know is that to yesterday, you now have access to the Red Chestnut Arabian Horse, the Alligator Skin Ranch Cutter Saddle, and the High Roller Double Action Revolver in Red Dead Online. Now, this is something that you guys have been waiting for for a long time. So many congratulations to you guys for finally getting access to something that you have been waiting for for so freaking long. Um, overall, I think there is so many things coming to Red Dead Online that you can be excited for. Right now, I know, dudes, it's super slow. Like, I hope you guys have been enjoying the anti-griefer videos I've been posting on the channel, as well as the open lobbies we've been hosting, as I've been having a ton of fun with those. But in order for this channel and for Red Dead Online to succeed, there has to be more content. Um, I know a lot of you guys have been Garrett uh, post more videos of other games in no way, shape or form. Do I have plans to do that and also have no plans to quit Red Dead Redemption 2 as that is what Outlaw Gary is like. This is a Red Dead Redemption 2 themed YouTube channel. Now, I know a lot of you guys like Garrett start posting GTA 5 online here. That's not what this channel is. If you guys want GTA 5 online, you guys can go to my main channel or not my main channel anymore. You guys can go to Jobless Garrett. That's where I post GTA 5 stuff. Uh, but this channel is strictly going to be Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online for as long as possible. I may not be able to do three videos a day for the rest of the channel's existence, but I definitely want to only stick to one game. Now, I know many of you are like, Garrett, that sounds like a bad idea, but that's just my, that's what I choose to do. Um, I'm going to be like the Titanic. If the ship goes down, I'm going down with it. <laughs> Hopefully Red Dead Redemption 2 doesn't die, even though everyone is saying the game is dead. I promise you guys, <sighs> have some goddamn faith, all right? It's all we can do. We can just stay positive. Rockstar, hit your boy up. I got some good ideas. Maybe we just make the game online better. Step one, just got to throw out. Give the people what they want. Let us know in the comment section. What do the people want? More content. That's right. Good. Good answer. Good. I feel like Family Feud. Good answer, Jimmy. Good answer. No, but seriously, in all that, um, I look forward to Law and Bounty upgrades and changes. I look forward to the daily challenges coming soon. The parley or parlay uh, changes that they're making. By the way, that, that word is, you can say it both ways, I believe. Parley or parlay. Um, and then the proximity based player blips if they go down that route super awesome look forward to it I think they can do some awesome things with it um, and big congratulations to all Xbox one players that now have access to the red chestnut the Arabian horse of uh, the alligator skin ranch saddle and of course the high action double revolver in Red Dead Online. If you guys are new around here, hit that subscribe button if you enjoy Red Dead Redemption 2. If you love Red Dead Online, welcome to my channel. I do that every single day and dudes, please Please follow me on social media. Links will be found down below. We're going to hope for the best. We're, that's all we can do. We can work together. Stay strong, brothers and sisters. I appreciate you guys. Buy the merch. Link in the description. I'll see you guys later on today with a brand new video as dudes. Let me tell you, I got some juicy videos coming out today. So I better see you guys tuning in to the 1 o'clock video and the 5 o'clock video. PST. See you guys soon. From the moment this one uploaded, it's three hours from now. All right, I'll, I'll see you. You better be there. I better see. You better be tuning in. You be, don't miss it. Don't miss it. All right, I'll let you go. All right, bye. see you guys later. <laughs>